This is Dr. Amita Parthi, Director, Department of Internal Medicine, Fortis Memorial Research Institute, Gurgaon. Considering the situation today, the question on everybody's mind is when can we expect the vaccine for the coronavirus management? Uh, it is heartening to know that nearly more than 35 companies are already on the job of creating this magnificent tool of a vaccine against the COVID-19. Out of these 35, four of the companies have already reached a stage of animal trials. And the good news is that one of the companies based out of Boston is currently on human trials and the first few candidates for the vaccines have already been initiated. So if all goes as per the expected results that are being planned with this vaccine within the next four to six months, we can expect some good news which would be on the horizon very, very soon considering the active participation of all the biomedical companies that are in the fray. Now, there are very many questions that are associated with the Corona vaccine. The vaccine naturally as the virus is an RNA based uh, virus. So the vaccines are so being modeled and created around it by the experience of uh, the various biopharmacists during their previous uh, pandemics of uh, SARS and uh, MERS which happened in 2012 and uh, 2014. So uh, those are the virus strands and the previous exposure or the previous experiences with those gene sequences are helping to create the new COVID-19 vaccine. The protection of COVID-19, probably the other question that is being asked is how long would the immunity last? Technically speaking, usually a virus can undergo mutation after a period of nearly 12 months. Like in the flu, we would first attempt to create an adequate immunity for at least a period of 12 months and then going forward in case something more, stra more stronger can be developed or something more sturdy and which can encompass many strains of the uh, viral strains can be created, we will do so in the near future. The uh, other issues that are being asked for about is that what happens to people who are already immunocompromised like the ones who are HIV positive or retroviral positive patients. Such individuals, like in all other protective prophylactic vaccines, it would be advisable that these HIV patients would also need to undergo the vaccination program. Uh, once the exact guidelines have been released at the end of uh, the human trials, then we will be better aware and better informed as to what the guidelines suggest regarding the vaccination programs. Finally, uh, because most of the products that we talk about usually start with some amount of food related disorders or abdominal related disorders. So the question that is being asked is, is there any particular food format which can help in building up the immunity against the virus? Unfortunately, the only thing that is closest that can promote immunity against a viral ailment is vitamin C. So all foods which are rich in vitamin C would probably be the closest form of protection that we can offer you for all viral diseases. Thank you.